G'day legends, welcome back to the channel. My name's Tony and this is the Mighty Jimny, the channel where I'm going to take you on my West Australian full drive and overlanding adventures. And today we're at Mundaring Power Lines. So uh, after doing a couple of camping trips, uh, we're going to go out for just a day of full driving and uh, put the new Jimny through its paces. Now you might be able to see in the background, I've finally got that two inch lift that I was talking about with the uh, 235 by 75 tyres on, the BFGs. So it's going to be really exciting to see how that goes with a little bit more technical track, which is the uh, Mundaring power lines. Also got uh, one of the guys from the local Jimny community, uh, Anthony Kovac here with his uh, Jurassic Park Jimny. Uh, quite a uh, interesting little beast as well. So we're going to go through both the rigs um, at about the halfway point of the trip and uh, we'll have hopefully uh, some good content for you. So go get yourself a cold one, sit back, relax and uh, we'll do all the hard work for you. Enjoy. G'day legends, we're about halfway through the Mundaring Power Lines four-wheel drive track. Um, look, this is considerably more technical than anything that I've shown you so far with the Jimny. Um, I've got, we've got some good footage so far, it's, it's really quite fun. Um, the Jurassic Park Jimny's uh, eating it up. Um, Rowan, one of the other guys from the West Australian Jimny owners page, um, is uh, came past and uh, I'll probably got some nice footage of his rig as well. Uh, yeah, no, it's really good fun. Um, so hopefully uh, we'll be able to do a bit of a walk around with with Anthony Kovac's car um, with the, the Jurassic Park Jimny. Um, yeah, it's really quite a uh, quite a cool little beast. And I've even got some footage of um, oh, Jimmy's Everest <laughs> climbing. Heartbreak Hill back there, which was which was good fun. Get involved! 
<laughs> you can't bin the Jimny! <laughs> Okay, that was a silly move. Um, <laughs> where are we? <laughs> Alright guys, we're at the halfway point here, um, it's roughly about maybe an hour, hour and a half to go, um, so lots of more fun stuff ahead. So I'm here with one of the guys from the uh, JB74 WA um, Facebook group, um, and this is Anthony Kovac, come over here buddy. And this is his uh, amazing uh, Jurassic Park themed out JB74, so uh, tell us mate, how long you had this one? Had it for about six months now. Fantastic. And loving every day of it. Yeah. Excellent. What have you done so far? Let's talk about these mods. Uh, so far it's got two inch lift, um, the all terrain tyres and just the roof rack and just with that man I pretty much go anywhere I want. Just chuck the jerrys on top of the roof rack and having an extra 40 litres is always more comfortable than having the stock tank. But um, yeah, just absolute uh, weapon. An absolutely uh, amazingly done up weapon here. Um, what are your future mods that you're going to plan on doing with it? Future mods, looking at getting a ARB bull bar. Oh, yep. And maybe just a CB radio, and I think that will be pretty good at the moment. By that stage, they're starting to become uh, pretty capable beasts. Either way, mate, thanks very much for coming out. Easy as Absolute man. legend, and uh, we'll be organising some more uh, trips in the future. All right, stay tuned, grab yourself another cold one, and uh, we'll finish out the rest of this track. Rock on, guys. All right, so uh, we're stopping for a bit of grub at the moment. Um, as you can see, I've got the jet ball going. This time, I bought the fuel with me, so she's A-OK. -okay. Uh, got that going there, and I'm just gonna uh, make some, some noodles. Lads have had some sandwiches, and uh, it's all good. So what we're gonna do now, um, Anthony's, uh, he's headed off. So uh, that was a great uh, opportunity to meet some new guys from the WA Jimny uh, page on Facebook there. Um, so if you are from WA, uh, join the West Australian JB47 Owners Club. Um, and now what we'll do is we'll head straight up the power lines track, do a bit more. Um, we're probably not going to be able to get the whole thing in today. Um, that might be a, uh, a part one and part two. Um, so we'll do a little bit more um, and then we'll probably get the second part done in a later weekend. Um, really good fun. So it's good to be able to show the Jimny uh, in its natural habitat, getting some really good capability photos and some really good capability uh, uh, four drive video of it uh, really jumping around the place. I think I almost binned it once or twice there. Um, close, it's uh, but you know, it's, it's all good fun. So uh, yeah, look, stay tuned. Um, we'll do a little bit more. Um, and what I'm gonna do now is have a bit of grub, then I'm gonna go through um, what I reckon of this two inch lift that I had done by Ironman 4x4 uh, at the uh, West Coast 4x4 in uh, Mandra there. So stay tuned, cheers guys. Get it guys, all right, so uh, just quickly going through the two inch lift that I got done by West Coast 4x4 on Pinjar Road in Mandra. Um, we've got the Ironman full 50 mil uh, lift. So uh, just as you can see here, the car's sitting, car's sitting uh, really well. Um, and put together with the uh, BF Goodrich KO2s. Goodriches uh, do give me a couple of more inches of clearance and the handling today on the track have been, has been actually fantastic. Um, out on the road and whatnot, look, it uh, feels a bit more planted, but it certainly does feel a hell of a lot better once the car's actually loaded up. So the next time I do one of my overnighters or a group camp trip, um, I'll be fully loading her up and I'll be able to see exactly how the car handles when it is loaded up. Now, like I said before, I've uh, really given a, the car a bit of a hiding today in regards to the, the track and making sure that I uh, really show the capability of this vehicle whilst uh, having the new lift in, but also, 
uh, it's good fun. So I almost binned it once or twice, but you know what? Uh, it's good fun and uh, no damage done to the car yet, except for this tiny little scratch here. But yeah, apart from that, uh, good times and hopefully uh, we'll get a few more shots in before we uh, have to call it a day. So, cracking on. Righto, Legends, we're uh, finished with Mundaring Power Lines for drive track today. Uh, big shout out to Anthony Kovac for coming down with his Jurassic Park chimney. Um, absolutely fantastic bloke, so thanks very much for coming. Great fun, and hopefully we'll be able to do that again soon. Once again, always thank you to Jimmy for uh, running the Everest for recovery, just in case we get ourselves uh, too deep in the squirt and unable to get out. So thanks very much. Uh, so we had a really good time today. Managed to put the two-inch lift through its paces. So thanks very much to the guys at West Coast 4x4. Did a great job. Um, and the car is handles really well and is even more capable than it was before so that's I guess exactly what I was after so that's uh, us done for the day like and subscribe to the channel more contents coming soon and we're